Hello and g'day! In today's video, I'm going to make a photo tag. And it's the easiest tag to make. And it can be somebody you don't know. It can be a family member or a vintage look. That would be great. These little flower girls here, they're beautiful to use for these. Now I'm going to use a tag punch, but I'm also going to show you how you can use my template. This will be available for download. This is a free template, this one. So description below, it's on my website. I'll get back to the template shortly. You can use the traceable template. You can use clear templates if you've got anything like this. You can use the punch, which just punches out the top shape and you cut the sides first. I'm going to show you how to use this one. Or you can use your metal die sets. What I'm going to show you first is the template. There's two pages to the template. You can use page one and just cut out two pieces. You can cut out the smaller one or this is a two inch, this is a three inch. And you can just use these to say you've got, I don't know, we'll, we'll just use this for the minute. Just say you, you just put that on your photo and you get a pencil and you trace around the edge, just like that. You can also use your traceables as a template. So if you weren't gonna use this, you would cut out this and have these. But if you want this, this can be a two piece template. So you print this one out and you cut these out, you end up with these and then it looks like this. So you've got a reverse of your tags. So that would be good to do like I just showed you. You put it on top of what it is you want to cut out and then you just trace around this template this part of it is good if you want to know exactly what you're seeing underneath. Use this as a template and just trace around the inside of it and you'll know exactly what your tag is going to look like. So that's the two styles of your printable template. Now this one here is exactly the same. You just put that over the top where you want your tag to be. And this one's designed to just use your craft knife straight away and use this as like a ruler and just cut all the way around the edge and you end up with your template. Uh, you end up with your tag looking like this. So that one's pretty easy to use as well. I don't know where you can find these. These were my mum's and I looked everywhere on the internet and I couldn't find any. So I can't recommend where you can get them. And you who have the metal die cuts, you know how to use them. You just put your picture down, put your die cut over the top and cut that out. I'm going to do the demo using this punch. So as I just explained, you use these if you don't have the punch. Now this particular punch is two inches wide in here and or five centimeters wide. So you need to have that cut nice and snug. It's got to, if it's too small, when this piece here cuts out, you'll have an odd shape either side. So you want that shape to be cut nice, make sure it fits in there nice and snug. You can get punches with three different sizes on them. They would be great. If you've got one of them, use whatever size you want. Before I cut this piece out, this is a piece of cardstock 
and it's a good 200, around about 200 GSM. If you think that is a good enough weight, if your photograph is printed on something around about 200 GSM, you could go ahead and just put that in there and punch it out. And that is right. That's a strong enough tag for you. But if you were to cut that out of a piece of paper like this, it's a bit flimsy. You might want to back it. So you can cut two separate pieces if you're using a punch and glue one piece on top of the other. This particular punch, you can have the length, any length you like. That's why on my pattern, I've put no length because you can make it shorter or longer. Having a punch and cutting two separate pieces, that makes sure that it's identical. It's gonna fit back on there perfectly. So you could cut two separate pieces and glue them together just mirror them. So if you cut two out that way, turn one over and put it back together. All right, so you may need a backing. So I'm going to show you how to do one with a backing. So that's one way and this is another way. So you've got your picture and this is not quite strong enough to make a tag. I like my tags to be a bit firmer. So there's my backing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my backing with my girl together first. I'm going to glue these together now. Then I'm going to cut them out and then I'm going to punch them. That way I know I've got a perfect shape tag. If you use the hand cut method, this is the best way to do it. Glue your front picture and your backing together first and then trace around it and cut out your tag. It just makes a nice, a much nicer edge. I'm just using the Helma fabric glue. I've changed bottles. There's been a lot of the YouTube creators. A lot of the ladies have swapped from the the original glue bottles that they use they've swapped them out and they're now using these squeeze bottles they come with a metal tip on them i'll show you the packet in a minute and i've just started using this i've had it for a little while but i didn't start using it because i oh, i forgot to order a stopper you know a lid for it to seal the top so I had to go and find something that I could use to, to put on the tip. So I've just found this tiny, tiny little one, but it does work. I have no glue spitting out over the edge, and this is what they are. They're designed for icing sugar on cookies. They're perfect. If you get a chance to get some of them, I can highly recommend them. I'm going to put the two together. I want it up as high as I can so I get all of that chandelier in there. So I'll probably miss a little bit of that decoration there. All right, so now I'm going to measure out a two inch strip. So I'm going to use my square ruler for that. I'm going to start by figuring out where I want my edge to be. Work out my two inch piece. Now this, if this turns out to be a bit snug, we can always cut some off. Okay, I've got that working quite well now. So I'm just gonna cut off this top piece here. Now I've got three sides of this tag sealed together really well because of the gluing the two pieces together first makes a huge difference. 
Now, if you were going to put this on here, now, this is the time you would do it. So you, for the hand cutters, you do this now. You put this on here, figure out where you want it, and just trace around the scallops. If you're using this template, you, you just trace around the scallops the same. But I'm just going to pop it in here and cut that. Makes it a lot quicker. And I'm going to cut the bottom off now to the length of the photo. The photo dictates the size of my tag. You've got a square bottom. You can either leave it square. Oh, that one is square and see how it's a bit shorter because the photograph will dictate the size of the tag and we can put that in here and chomp those corners out and on the little shorter tags the corners rounded look really really good i'm not even going to do any dyeing around the edge but see how the chandelier fell just right down in the right place and it leaves a little place for journaling on the back. This one here being an Australian theme, I put a nice old peeled paint look on the back. And this is just scrapbook paper. It's just an off cut actually. This one here is just black and white. And I've just backed it with a, a white cardstock. This one here I've just used a recycled manila folder and I've actually stained the edges on this one. Now have a look at this one. This one is of an unknown vintage lady and I've backed her with a colour very similar to her swimsuit. So it can look quite smart having your tags in different colours. What you can do if your picture is small and it's not big enough to fit the tag, just cut your tag out. Again, this is, I may just make it to be strong enough for a tag, just. But if you wanted it heavier, you could always back it with a nice contrasting colour. So you would do the same again, cut out a two inch strip or whatever size your tag is and then glue the two pieces together get your smaller photo and just glue that on the front. So you've got to pick your picture to be fitting with your tag or do something like this. Just glue it on top of your tag with a, a really nice background. Now this one here, I used a vellum sheet and this was a print on vellum and I just backed it with white and I put a black eyelet in it. So we've got the eyelet in there. I just used my Big Bite eyelet setter and set a 1 8 eyelet in that one. And that one looks pretty cool too. Now for this, this one here, this is another little black and white one. This was a, a pile of photographs uh, of my stepfather that my mum had. So I've just backed that at the moment with the manila folder but it doesn't look that good with the manila folder so what i'm going to do is i'm going to back it with some some of this construction paper so this construction paper is not too heavy it'll make a perfect backing for that i'm going to do that one on there and this one here is like a illustration or a painting of a vintage lady and that one is just a flimsy card. It needs to be backed. So I've just picked a similar color and I'm going to back that one on there. And I'll show you what that one looks like in a minute. Here's another one that would look great as a steampunk style. That's a vintage photo of some ladies in wartime. I don't know the year, but the paper for the backing would look great with that one. So I'll get and finish off these couple here and I'll be back and I'll show you a slideshow. 
I'm Donna. Thanks for watching and bye for now.